Let's familiarize ourselves with some high-end costume jewelry brands. So if you're interested in selling costume jewelry, high-end costume jewelry and things that are going to make some good money, you need to know what to pick up when you're at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, places like that. And so we're going to take a look at some high-end costume jewelry brands that you need to have on your radar so that when you're out, you'll know what you're looking for. Hi, my name is Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. I'm a reselling homeschooling mom that flips things on eBay, Etsy, and other places that I find at garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores to help support my family. If you're interested in learning more about flipping things and selling online, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified when I put out new videos. So today we're going to tackle a few of the higher end costume jewelry brands and this is a series that I'm going to be continuing. We're going to be talking about vintage costume jewelry. I also got some more contemporary high end costume jewelry that you need to have on your radar as well coming up in the future. The first maker that we're going to take a look at is Robert DiMario Jewelry. I wanted to first show you the different marks that you might find on these pieces of jewelry. And this is from a site called How to Buy Vintage Jewelry. I'll link this down below. But as you can see, there are a few different marks. Some of them are on cartouche, some are marked DiMario, sometimes there is an oval around the name, and sometimes it looks like they are written in cursive. So I thought we'd pull up Etsy. These are some pieces of DeMario jewelry that are up right now, just so we can familiarize ourselves with what it looks like. When I see these, I am thinking like 50s and 60s style jewelry with the um, pearlescent beads, very um, almost gaudy in a way, but very opulent as well. So you can see some of these prices are really really high so this blue glass set 256 dollars there's a cluster bead what i think is a bracelet perhaps at 95 dollars so i thought we should also take a look at some recent sold on ebay just to make sure that these are the kind of prices we can still expect if we find a demario piece of jewelry so there are some that I pulled up off to the side. Uh, this is a cluster clip-on earring. So these are ones that I might not have even thought to look at. These sold for $28, and for clip-ons lately, that's pretty good. The back of this earring, you can see marked DeMario. Another recently sold necklace that was marked DeMario sold for $49. It's a multi-strand plastic lucite bead necklace. It's got lots of different colors. So when I see these type of necklaces, I generally do think vintage. I don't always look at them because I didn't realize that they could be something that was worth way more. So here's a very unusual brooch. This was a mesh, chain, and faceted rhinestone brooch that sold on auction for $33. Next is this very unusual DeMario brooch with this glass cabochon inside of a flower pod, it looks like, that sold for $20. And here is that style that I think of when I think of 50s, 60s style jewelry with the clusters of faux pearls that are or pearlescent colored beads. This is very typical of that era that, and I think that taking a closer look at some of these tags on necklaces and jewelry that look like this could be very profitable. This sold for $225. And this DeMario necklace sold for $259. I have it on this particular one because I wanted to show you the mark. There it is, DeMario New York. And the necklace looks like this. So there's a few different styles, but definitely if you see something that like, looks really opulent, vintage, take a close look at that tag and see if it has DeMario on the tag. The next high-end costume jewelry designer I wanted to talk about was Weiss. This is one that's a little more common to find. I know I found it several times. I haven't found some of the bigger high-end side of Weiss, but I thought it'd be a nice uh, one to add to our list to definitely take a look at when we are out and about. So I'm going to link Collectors Weekly's article about Weiss jewelry down in the description box if you want to read more about the brand. But being able to recognize Weiss, again, it's very rhinestone-y, very blingy and sparkly. Uh, these are some clip-on earrings that sold for $15. 
And lately for me, that would be a really great price to get for clip-on earrings. This is another one, the, the Christmas tree brooch. I have a feeling that this person might have been able to get more for this based on what I'm seeing on some of the higher end ones. So this rhinestone Christmas tree brooch sold for $40, which is still a great price. This is another multicolor rhinestone brooch, very blingy. Here are some clip-on earrings that sold for $20. And the marking on Weiss is usually very prominent. It's very easy to see on most of their pieces. This is another one I feel like they probably could have gotten more than $25, but hey, uh, $25 for this Weiss butterfly brooch. Now those first few were ones that I did that ended recently. When I adjusted the search to the highest priced items, this is what I found. So here is that same Christmas tree brooch with earrings that sold for $179. There's another Christmas tree that's a white one with six candles that is selling for $175. And then I also noticed that there are some Lucite with inset rhinestones. I saw this one, I saw a yellow one, so there may be other colors as well. This sold for $134. The next thing is this Weiss Rivoli set. It's got a brooch. It's got earrings. Anytime I see Rivoli, I tend to pick it up because I know I can get a fair price for it. But this Peacock Rivoli Weiss set sold for $170. This is another Weiss set that I thought was really cute. It's a king and queen of hearts. I have never seen this before. I would honestly might have a little bit of trouble giving it up if I did, but this pair sold for $260. And then this was the one that there were two, maybe three at the high end that just sold within the last 90 days. And this is a Weiss Kiwi Fruit and Enamel Ladybug brooch. And this sold for $526. So definitely Weiss is one to keep on your radar. The next brand we're going to take a look at is Bogoff. And I'm not sure if I'm in pronouncing that wrong, if it's Bogoff or Bogoff, but it's spelled Bogoff, Bogoff. And the first site I'm going to share with you is Morning Glory Jewels. There were some really cool vintage ads and then the actual pieces or similar pieces next to them. So I will link this down below. It's got some really great information as far as the history. Uh, these pieces were made between, let's see, Bogoff Jewelry advertising here between 46 and 59, 1946, 1959. Now, what I'm noticing about this brand is lots and lots of rhinestones. So first up is this pinwheel brooch. I have it set on this image because I wanted to draw your attention to the brand name on the back, Bogoff. And you can definitely correct me in the comment section if, I, if you know how to pronounce that correctly. But again, as you can see, very bright, blingy, lots of rhinestones. Same thing on this one, there's the name. And when we get back to the first image, you will see again, lots and lots of sparkle and rhinestones. And then here are some others that are on this page. As you can see, they're not in the hundreds and thousands on all of them, but it's a really good brand, a really high-end brand that you can get a, a fair amount for. Here are some that are up for sale on Etsy. And as you can see, $35 and up. Here's a few that are $100 or so. $176 on this sparkly blue one. And then these are sold on eBay. And as you can see, again, lots and lots of rhinestone, lots of blings and sparkle. So if you see a, a vintage necklace with lots of sparkly rhinestones and bling, it might be worth looking it over to see if it has bog off. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Uh, name on that. So rhinestones, bling, keep an eye out for that one. The next brand that I thought we would take a look at is called William DeLillo. And these are the marks. Again, I'll link below where I got this information. DeLillo, sometimes it's WM DeLillo, sometimes it's a W. Sometimes the entire name is spelled out, but they will always have DeLillo on the back. So let's take a look at some items that have sold on eBay and what they look like and what to typically look for for this brand and what kind of prices you can get. So as I was doing my research on William DeLillo jewelry, I was seeing quite an array of different styles, but the one thing that sort of tied it all together was it's very eclectic. 
This belt is one that I've seen on a number of different sites, so I have a feeling it's more of a, like an iconic piece of William DeLilla's, this butterfly belt. Some of the items are very opulent and even a bit extravagant looking, like these tassels. This is a men's collar pin. Let's take a look at some items that have sold lately on eBay. So these are some sold. So you can see this bright cobalt blue necklace, the hoop earrings that have a bamboo style. And then I also noticed there were a number of collar style necklaces, like this crystal collar necklace. This is that collar pin again, sold for $250, tassels. This is a very interesting jacket collar, jewelry sign with these elephants. I have a feeling if, the, if this is something that was at an estate sale or a garage sale thrift store, it would definitely draw me in because because of the animals, the unusualness of it. Again, the collars, this one is really extravagant and very eclectic looking. And then again, there's that collar. So I pulled up another site, First Dibs, because I started seeing not only some really eclectic stuff, there were also some very surreal items as well. So there's this foot pendant that is selling for $1,200. There's a closer peek at it. And then this surrealist, I think it says it's supposed to be Cobra, uh, but it almost looks like a face. Uh, this is selling for over $2,000. So taking a peek at Etsy, these are all different William DeLillo items that are up for sale currently. As you can see, really opulent looking collar necklaces, big statement pieces, and then also figural pieces like Buddha. We saw the elephants, we saw the foot. So anything you see that is like this big color statement pieces, definitely take a time, definitely take the time to go through and take a peek at the, the tag because if it is a William DeLillo, it could be worth hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. The next brand I thought I would include is Trifari. This is another one that we see a lot of out there. Trifari is very prolific. And another thing about Trifari is that the styles are very different. Lots of different designers have worked with Trifari. So there's tons of different styles and materials but they're almost always marked. I'm going to link Collectors Weekly's site down below so that you can learn a little bit more about Trifari's history, how long they've been around, and all the different designers that have worked with Trifari. I'm also going to be sharing Trifari information and Crown Trifari. Now, they're both the same company, but there's a little bit of a difference when you're listing them and in the sum of the marks, and also sometimes in the price and the value. So starting off, these are some Trifari pieces that are listed right now. As you can see, they're all very different. Some are enamel wear, some look a little more contemporary, some definitely look way more vintage, some look higher end than others. And the prices again are all over the place here, you know, $9 for some earrings, it's almost $60 for a brooch. And then this is the brand on the back, Trifari. There, there are a lot of different uh, labels. I wanted to show you, here it is. So his, this is just a small sampling of Trifari's labels, but they pretty, they're pretty clearly marked Trifari on, on all of them. So here are some other Trifari pieces that have sold within the last 90 days. As you can see, $25, $40. Some of them definitely sell more than others. These are just the recently sold items. So let me scroll a little bit. I see a penguin. I mean, there's no real pinpointing what Trifari style is because there's so, it's so vast. But if you find Trifari, it's, if it's in good condition, it can generally be something that is worth, worth listing. Now, this is when I searched Trifari and I did the highest to the lowest price because I wanted to show you that Trifari has some very high, high-end items as well, depending on who designed them. So as you can see in the thousands of dollars on some of these Trifari pieces, that are just absolutely magnificent. So I pulled over this one with the brooch and earrings. And as you can see on the back, they are marked Trifari. So how do you know if you have Trifari or Crown Trifari? Well, when you look at the maker's mark, there will be a crown over the T. And if you have a crown over the T, then you've got a Crown Trifari piece. So these are some Crown Trifari pieces. 
and let me show you the mark. So as you can see on this one, the they have zoomed it out for you. So you see on the Trifari, above the T, there's a little crown sitting on top of it. So that's how you know you've got a crown Trifari piece. There's another one. And then I also wanted to show you that sometimes crown Trifari has a T, a hang tag of a T with a little crown on top of it. So sometimes in the group, our group Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers, People will ask, what is this mark? I don't know this one. If it's a T with a crown on the hang tag, that is also a crown trifari. I hope you found this video helpful. I wanna hear from you. What's a brand that you would like to see in another one of these top end designer jewelry brands to keep an eye out for? And I am gonna be busy making more, so make sure if you enjoy this type of video, you go down there and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the costume jewelry designers that I'll be talking about in the future. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.